knowledge is an operation that produces uh, objectivity through practice of collective uh, inquiry with instruments about the world. There's nothing really mysterious in that. Truth is a completely different question because truth is not associated necessarily with uh, knowledge. Knowledge is about objectivity, which is uh, one kind of truth, but there are many others. Yeah, truth about politics, truth about diplomacy, truth about religion, truth about law, truth about art, uh, and every time there is a difference between true and false. So I don't think we have any um, advantage to associate knowledge and, uh, and truth, knowledge with objectivity, and that's already largely enough and largely difficult enough. Of course I am a relativist, like all scientists, like in objectivity, you cannot produce objectivity without being relativist, which means that you are able to establish relation with very different type of frames of reference and different type of people, different type of things, different. you have to think in many different points of view. Uh, if you want to be a geologist studying rocks or if you want to be an anthropologist studying other people, I mean, relativism is the heart of, of, of scientific uh, objectivity production. Now, what, when people say I'm a relativist, they mean that I don't believe that the way science produces objectivity should uh, lord over all of the other truth condition, and that's perfectly true. I think it's a mistake, and that it has corrupted science as well as it has corrupted the other forms of truth production. So I think there is no advantage, and as, as I said before, of associating truth and uh, knowledge. Knowledge is about objectivity. Let's do it. It does it very well sometimes. Uh, and it has to be defended and it has to be protected against criticism. But truth is something else entirely and there are no reason to attack uh, science in the names of truth, nor to protect it, nor to attack, nor to protect. It's a category mistake. But rationalists love to do this category mistake because they have charged science with a capital S with everything. Morality, politics, religion, law and so on. So uh, when we say I'm a relativist, it's just to say, okay, let's, let's protect science against this uh, excess of uh, um, weight. And you, put, you burden science with things that it cannot produce or deliver. Because it's producing objectivity. It doesn't produce a good life. It doesn't produce law. It doesn't produce religion, it doesn't produce poetry. There are many other things which we need to live in a collective which science cannot uh, deliver. Why, why char charging it with the weight of uh, holding civilization on its back if it's not able to deliver it? Let science deliver something else. And that the only thing it does well, which is produce objectivity about the state of the world, it's not even protected against that because you need money, you need people, you need training. All of these things will disappear from a view of science which is usually uh, projected as truth, capital T, about science, capital S. So I'm part of those who want to protect science against the excess of uh, epistemology, but also against criticism. For that, it has to be, you have to provide a realistic definition of what science is.